hey what's up everybody this is Fred welcome to my channel so I'm going to continue answer the questions um, the why you just completed why question 2023 so I want to answer this question number three B okay this question <clears throat> all right so it says um, the sketch in figure four shows two points T and S drawn above line XY so this line XY this is a point T and the point S all right so you have been instructed to number one construct a circle to touch line XY so and pass through point S and T so we're going to construct a circle to pass through um, this point S and T and touching tangential to line XY at the same time is that clear so that's what we're going to do now. So we've been given the dimensions to fix this point S and T. Okay, so the height from the XY line for S is 40, for T is 70, and the distance apart is um, 30. So two, measure, this, measure and state the radius of the circle. So we're going to do that as well. So let us start. Now the first thing you do is you draw the XY line. So draw a line to represent x, y. So that's it. So call this x and call this y. All right, so what we're gonna do next is um, we're gonna locate the points T and S. Okay, so the first thing we do is I'm gonna to have to draw a line first. So align your set square such that you drop a perpendicular to the line XY. So align your set square in this form. Let me zoom that in so you can see what's going on here. Alright, so align your set square in this form. Alright. So support with your ruler now draw a thin line now i don't even need to draw this line but for the purpose of locating the point s and t i will just draw them okay so i'll draw a thin line up now i'll leave it there now um we've been told that the distance is 30. so from this point i'm going to measure 30. so um I'm going to measure 30. So this is 30. All right. Now I'm going to transfer same vertical line to that point 30. Here. And I'll draw that line. Okay. So now we've been told that this is 40 and this is 70 so I'm going to measure 70 here and I'll measure 40 here so this we have 70 here and we have um, 40 here so this point is um, T this is 70, don't forget. And this is S, which is 40 from the XY line. So I'm just gonna dress that up. All right, now let me make something very clear here. Now you've been asked to draw a circle to touch, to go through these two points and tangential to this XY line. Now you, have, you don't know the point where it will connect with this XY line. So it will be wrong of you to like, okay, uh, maybe choose this point as the third point because that's what uh, most students uh, they did from my investigation okay just connected a line here connected um, okay this one's already been connected they bisected and that was it no so I'm even uh, connected to this point you know connected the line here connected and they bisected it and no now it is different when you have been asked to draw a circle through three, three points okay this is not that case let me try to explain further so if I have three points, say point A, point B, and point C, and I'm asked to draw a circle to touch, to go through all three points, very simple. What you do is, um, I'm just gonna do a rough 
drawing here, you connect AB, you connect what BC, bisect line CB and bisect line um, AB. Now the point where they meet will be the center. Once you need to here stretch, you will be able to draw a circle that will touch all three points. You understand? Now this is not the case. Now in this case, you don't have a third point. So now there is a method you will have to follow to be able to locate the third point because you are not given. This is not the third point and this is not the third point. All right, so now follow this step. Now connect T and S and draw until it touches the X, Y line and extend. I hope that's clear. So I'm going to connect T and S with a thin line and I will, it will touch X, Y line and I will extend it. Did you see that? Extend. So this is a thin line, please. Um, for clarity purpose, let me make it a little bit visible. But it's a thin line. All right, so now what you do is, we're going to call this point here, we're going to call this point U. All right? So now, okay, so now you see this distance US, okay? We're going to transfer this distance and locate it on this line, this TU that was extended, okay? This is what I mean. So with your pair of compass or pair of divider, your needle on U, stretch to S, okay? You see this distance? Now transfer it here. Needle on U and needle on this line. Here. Okay, so the distance S, so let's call this point um, V. So the distance SU is equal to UV. So this is V, don't forget. All right? Good. Now we are going to, you see this line? Uh, let me adjust the camera so you can see clearly. Okay. Now, you see this line TV? Line TV. We are going to bisect it. Very simple. You needle on V, stretch more than half of the line, draw an arc here, draw an arc here, with same radius, you needle here, draw an arc, and draw an arc here. Alright, so connect both points of intersection like this um where the axe intersected so we have bisected line t u sorry line t v all right i hope that's clear now we have a center here now what you do is you're going to needle on the center stretch to t All right. So if it is touching T, it must touch V. I hope you can see that. All right. So draw an arc like this to V. I hope that's clear. All right. So um, let me adjust this a little bit so you can see what's going on. All right. So. Now we have this and we have this arc. So the next thing we're going to do is, you see this line, this perpendicular bisector of TV. We're going to drop a perpendicular also on the, at the point U. So it's going to be 90 degrees, all right? So you can either construct a 90 here or simply just transfer a line here. So transfer a line to U and draw a thin line to touch the circle at this point. All right, so let's call this point W. All right. Now, what you do next is this. You are going to transfer the distance UW. You're going to transfer it on this line XY. This is what I mean. Transfer this distance using your pair of compass or pair of divider. So this is UW. 
okay now transfer it on this xy line here that's it here so call this point z so u w is equal to u z now drop a perpendicular on z all right so you can either construct 90 here again or just transfer this line so align your set square transfer a line to z and drop a thin line stop there all right so you see this point z that is where that is the third point not this point that's the third point you've located all right so what you do next is bisect ts bisect line ts so you needle on s stretch more than half okay make an arc here an arc here you needle on t same radius cut this arc and cut this arc all right, so you have these two points of intersection. This and this. So, join the point of intersections. And draw the perpendicular bisector. Now you discover that this perpendicular bisector is intersecting with this line Z drawn upward. At this point call it O now what you do next is you needle on O stretch to Z all right so um, you needle on O you stretch to Z all right and describe a circle the circle will go through T and S. Can you see that? That's it. So, draw it thick line. So, that answers this first question. Construct a circle to touch line XY. So, this is line XY. The circle is touching it at this point and um, through T and S. So this is how you go about it. Now the next thing that we're asked to do is to measure and state the radius of the circle. So it's very simple. So half of the diameter is the radius. So um, from here, I have my radius to be 3.5 on the dot. Okay, that's 35 mm. So radius R is equal to 35 mm. Or if you are using centimeters, that would be 3.5 centimeters. So this is how to construct, to answer the question 3B. All right, so I need to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I'll be answering more questions and I'll be uploading them on this um, platform. See you some other time. Have a nice day.